So vandag se woord gaan oor hy sal jou dra. Ons amal het al van daai gedig gehoor. Ek het ek het actually baie lank laas gehoor en ek het weer raak gelees. Ehm um, toe ek nou dink oké okay, dis die woord wat ek gaan doen. Oor daai gedig wat die wat die ou loop op die strand en dan sy hele lewe deur en so en so. En dan gaan hy terug en hy dink hy maar die tye wat hy die moeilikste gegaan het met hom, het hy net een reispore gesien. En die tye wat het net lekker gegaan het, was daar twee reispore. En hy vraag toe vir die Heere, maar Heere, hoekom, hoekom was daar net twee reispore? Hoekom was daar net een reispore in my moeilikste tye het in my verlaat? En God antwoord om terug toe, hy sê nie my kind. Daar waar jy net een reispore sê, dis waar ek jou gedraai het. Deer daar moeilike tye. het my net weer eens laat besef, laat, dat ons is so in Godse hande, ons is so um, afhankelijk van Godse hand oor ons leven, ons is so afhankelijk van, van Godse dinge in ons leven. Na my woord vandag gaan ek met julle deel om te sê dat hy beskerm ons dier tye wat ons nie eers, ons besef, ek dink nie eers ons besef dier al die tye wat God ons beskerm nie. Ek dink nie ons besef wanneer hy ons actually dra nie. Dit is wonderlik net hoe, hoe God so almachtig is, hoe hy net almachtig is. Nou, Isaiah 46 verse 3 and 4 says, Listen to me. That's what the Lord says. Listen to me. You have been carried by me from your birth, okay, and have been carried in my arms from the womb, even to your old age, I am he, and even to your advanced age, I will carry you, from the time you are a baby, in your mother's womb, that's when God just puts his arms around you and he carries you. He carries you and he comforts you and he holds you. Totdat jy oud en grys is. Nee? Dra hy jou. Net soos wat ons a babiekie sal dra. Net soos wat jy daar in jou woom, jou maase woom geleed. Jy is so comfort. But you were, so, you were so comforted in your mother's womb. That is how God comforts us every single day. That is how He comforts us. All we need to do is say, Lord, I need you. I cannot do this by myself. Lord, I need you. And He stretches out His arms and He just gives us that comfort hug. That that only, you know, when you experience God's comfort. It's so beautiful. It's just, I, you know, and I'm sure each and every one of us experiences it different. But ons amal het iets anders nodig. Ons amal voel beter dier iets anders. So God ken jou hart. Hy ken jou, hy het jou gemaakt. Hy het jou soos in broidrie gemaakt in jou ma se womb. So hy weet wat het jy nodig. Hy weet wat en hoe om jou te comfort en jou op te tel. Is dit nie wonderlik nie? Is dit nie wonderlik dat God ons van kleins na oud en grys en gerinkel dra en comfort nie? I have made you and I will carry you. Be assured I will carry you and save you. Hy het, hy het in die twee verse, het hy het seker gemaakt, hy het drie keer gesê, I will carry you in vers 4, en weer, I have made you and I will carry you. Be assured, I will carry you and I will save you. Now die listen, in die begin van vers 3, in Hebrew beteken Shama, Shama, weet nie om dit uit te pronansie, nou die Shama beteken to hear intelligently, 
with affection, with obedience. God het seker gemaakt dat hy ons uitgesê, listen. Hoe kom sal hy die vers begin het met listen? As hy nie wou seker gemaakt het, dat ons weet tot en met van dag toe, tot en met jy van baba, tot grijsare, van doeke, tot grijsare, tot kiri, dat jy moet luister, dat God jou sal dra. I will carry you, listen. Be assured, I will carry you. Is dit nie wonderlik hoe God so met sy woord in die Bijbel met ons gepracht het en wat het geweet, my kinders gaan het nodig hee. Ek moet vir hulle seker maak dat hulle verstaan, be assured, luister vir my, my kind, luister. I will carry you, I will save you, I will carry you, I will carry you. Want ons allemaal het het nodig. Ons allemaal gaan dier swaar tye, een of ander tyd in jou leven, het jy God sy hand nodig wat jy optel. Jy het het nodig. En God gee dit vir ons, verniet. Ons moet net met oop harte na om toe gaan en sê, Jere, hier is ek, hier is my hart, vat my, asseblief Jere, ek het jy nodig. Maar met die genuine heart with the absolute surrendering to God because you know what if we go to him and we say Lord I cannot but you can Lord that is when doors open that is when healing starts that is when 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 just breakthroughs happen because that is when we say Lord I cannot that's when we put our pride in a box and we say Lord you are my strength. You are my healer. You are my comfort. You are my God. And I cannot live without you, Lord. You are my God. I cannot do this by myself. I do not have anything strength without you, Lord, because you are my strength. That is when things will happen. Now you're still going to go through difficult times. I'm not saying when you turn to God, you're not going to have difficult times. No, he didn't promise that. He says, I will carry you. Be assured, I will carry you. And I buy him away, geweet. I buy him away, geweet. That ons om gaan nodig hee. Elke dag. Elke dag. Elke dag het ons God nodig. Elke dag het ons God nodig. Kan nie een dag sonder... Ek weet nie, ja, ek weet nie hoe voel mense wat nie, wat, wat, wat God nie nodig het elke dag nie. Nou ek sê nie, jy moet net wil hee van God af nie, nie. Dit is nie wat ek sê nie, maar daai, ek kan nie sonder God gaan nie. Ek kan nie sonder sy woord gaan nie, ek kan nie sonder sy presence gaan nie. I cannot go without a worship song to start my day. I cannot go without a word to start my day. The Lord is my, he's my life. He's my, just my everything. And I want you to, we need to do, just make him your everything. Make him your everything. If you feel at the moment, God, I cannot. If you feel at the moment, but God has left you, He did not. He did not. God never leaves us. We leave God. Do you know that? God never leaves us. It is ons wat wegdraai van die Heere af. Dis ons wat in sonde draai. Dis ons wat in die donker ingaan. Dis ons wat nie vertrouw nie. Dis ons wat in bitter lewe. Dis ons wat ons wat in onvergifnis lewe. Dis ons wat in haat lewe. Dis ons wat in racisme lewe. Dis ons wat in geweld lewe. Dis ons wat in selfsig lewe. Dis ons wat in so baie goed lewe. 
Hoort is hier. Hij is hier. He will carry you. Now in, in, in Isaiah 51 verse 3, the Lord will comfort Zion. Okay. He will comfort her in all ruins. He will make her wilderness like Eden. Her desert like the garden of the Lord. Daar waar jy droog voel vandag. Daar waar jy voel, jy is plat, jy kan nie opstaan nie. Godse belofte is, hy gaan jy sy tuin vir jou gee. Daar waar jy droogte het, daar waar jy voel, jy kan nie meer, jy voel, voel soos een verlepte ding. God sê, hier is my tuin vir jou, hier is my leven vir jou, hier is my hart vir jou, hier is my liefde vir jou, hier is my groei vir jou. My kind vat, gaan stap in my tuin and feel refreshed, feel energized, feel I am walking with God Almighty. I'm walking with the Lord. And there where you do not have strength to walk on your own, God will lift you. God will carry you. God will just hold you. He will comfort you so that you can go through that chaos in your life. And so that you can just go into His rest. God wants us to rest in His love. He wants us to wait patiently for Him. He wants us to say, My child, trust and fully rely on me. Give your heart to me. Surrender. Put your pride aside. And give me a chance to show my strength. Give me a chance to show my power. Give me a chance to be your God. I'm your creator. I'm your creator. Let me create your life. Now I can hear on... Jere staan vandag en ek kan al hierdie goeikies vir sê, maar as, as ons nie wil nie, dan, dan, dan kan het nie gebeur nie. Ons moet, ons moet change, we need to change, we need to move, we need to change direction. As jou geleven die hele tyd chaos is, as jy die hele tyd moet opgetel word, dan moet jy jou richting verander. Joy and gladness will be found in her. Thanksgiving and the voice of a melody. Da, waar God in jou wilderness is. Da, waar jy in die wilderness is. Da, waar jy in die woestijn is. Da, waar jy voel, the Lord will bring joy. The Lord will bring gladness. And with thanksgiving, you will sing for Him. You will sing for Him. En ons het hierdie week een miracle beleef. My vriendin sy dochter was siek, jylle is siek, die dokter sê, die gebeurt, wat gaan aan nie? Ons het vastgehou aan God, ons het vastgehou aan sy woord, ons het gesê, Heere, ons staan op geneesing, Heere, ons staan op, dat die Heere die dokterse oor sal oopmaak, dat ons kan sien wat gaan aan, want hulle het gesê, hulle weet nie, hulle weet nie. En het was binnen vijf daal, vier daal, vijf daal. Toe kry my vriendin een oproep en sê, dit is wat het is. En hulle kon het dadelijk genees en oor een dag later is hy ontslaan. Is dit nie wonderlik nie? But God carried her through this. And she held on to God. She held on to His promises. Because God is a God of miracles. But it's His ways. His ways. His ways. In Psalm 94 verse 19, Whenever my busy, busy thoughts are out of control, the soothing comfort of your presence, Lord, calmed me and overwhelmed me with delight. Wanneer jy voel jou gedagte, sê sê het oor al oor die plek, en jy weet nie wat er kan doen, en jy weet nie dat jy doen, laat die Heerese teenwoordigheid jou soos. Laat die Heere sê die woordigheid die gedagte sê weg, wat focus op God, focus op sy goedheid, focus op sy lewe. Ek sê nie, jy moet nie huil nie, ek sê nie, jy moet nie treer nie, ek sê nie, jy moet nie wonder nie, en ons allemaal gaan wonder as ons nie, want ons kan nie in die toekomst insie nie. So ons is bang somtijds. Maar focus op God. Focus op God. Isaiah 40 verse 11 says, God will protect his flock 
like a shepherd. He will gather his lambs in his arms. He will carry them in his bosom. It's a demonie. He draw you up and he hou you fast. It's your kaikie. Ach nee, I can't even kaikies. Nee, as a. Oh, I'm sure there's many people from kaikies. Oh, that you don't tell me kaikie up and you hou me by bosom of a puppy. It's your after come. Jy tel jy papie so op en sê, ach, dit is cute nie, nie, jy sit om hier by jou hart en jy sê, ach, mamiekie, ach, mamie, jy is so mooi. Dit is wat ons doen. And that's exactly what God does. He carries us, he hold us in his arm en nie, by his bosom. Want dit is ons hart. Die Heere connect met ons hart, want dit is liefde. God is waarde liefde en dit is waar hy ons wil hee in sy hart. So that he can comfort us, so that we can experience more of him, so we can experience his love. Because that is how he comforts, with his love. Ek gaan nou vir julle verskrikkelike mooi vers lees. In songs of songs, in song of songs, nie? 2 verse 1. I am truly his rose. The very theme of his song. I am overshadowed by his love growing in his valley. Is dit die mooi nie? Ons is sy roos. Ons is sy roos. Nou, of jy nou man of vrou is, een roos is mooi. Een roos is mooi. So jy is God sy roos. You are overshadowed by his presence. Nee, by his love. In sy valley. Crying in his valley. So nou soos hy roos so is, en God sy liefde so om jou, en sy presence, hoe groei hier die roos het, en hoe groei hier die roos het, en hoe mooi is dit nie. En daar reek, daar reek wat die roos afgee. Is dit nie, dit is net mooi. Nou dit is wat ons is vir God, ons is sy roos. Ons is sy roos. En hoe meer ons in sy teenwoordigheid is, hoe meer ons in hom is, hoe mooier word ons met sy mooigheid, met sy woord, met sy teenwoordigheid. His left hand cradles my head, his right hand holds me close. I am at rest in his love. Ons ris in sy liefde. Ons ris in sy liefde. Now, Lamentations 3 verse 22 says, Who come? Why can we rest in his love? Even though we are not perfect, even though we do go through difficult times, even though we are in sin. Okay, Lamentations 3 verse 22 Lamentations 3 verse 22 says, It is because of God's loving kindness that we are not consumed. Because his tender compassion never fail. Right? 23. They are new every morning. His mercies are new every morning. Right? Great and beyond measure is your faithfulness. Great and beyond measure, Lord, is your faithfulness. Elke dag het ons een nieuwe kans. Elke dag begin met die oorpaard en sê, Jere, help my vandag. Ek wil verander, Jere, met die clean, pure, new, changed heart. Today, Lord, is another chance, Lord, to move closer to you, Lord. To walk in the footsteps of Jesus. To walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Today is another day. So vandag wil ek nie vir jou vraag. But we need to seek him. We need to seek him so that we can just be carried by him. Now in Lamentations 3 verse 25 it says, The Lord is good to those who wait confidently for Him, to those who seek Him. An authority of God's word. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him, for those who seek Him. Now say ek nou vir jou dat God nie goed is vir mense wat hom nie seek nie? Nee, dis glad nie wat ek sê nie. But, we allow ourselves to open doors for fear, for destruction, for darkness, for 
things in our lives. We need to keep the right doors open. We need to keep that focus on God. We need to keep growing in God. We need to be in His Word. We need to seek His face in order to hear Him, in order to experience more of Him. That is when He will carry you. He will always carry you, but that is when He will carry you. You will go easier through your wilderness. Finniger, makkelijker. Want jy ervaar dan die wilderness saam met God. Want jy vertrouw hom. Ons moet vasthou aan God. Ons moet vasthou, so dat dit so as jy voel, Heere, ek kan nie, dan moet jy so nie, dan moet Heere daar wees. Hy is altyd daar, maar ons moet oopwees, ons harte moet oopwees om te ontvang van God af. Ons harte moet oopwees vir hom. We need to seek him. We need to seek him. We need to seek him. Jou deurbraak sal vinniger kom. Jou, jou healing sal vinniger kom. Jou besluite wat jy moet maak sal beter wees. Daar is soveel dinge. If you seek his face continually. If you seek his face continually. Daar is soveel dinge wat anders te kan wees. Ja, jy gaan dier moeilike tye gaan. Maar met God is, en met God by jou, in jou, in jou, hy is altyd by jou. Maar met God in jou is daar moeilike tye makkelijker. Lichter, because what does God say? He will lift you. He will carry you. So vandag wil ek hee, ons moet, ons moet sy roos wees. Let's be beautiful. Nou, of jy nou man is, of vrou is, jy kan, een man kan ook mooi wees. Let's be in his beauty. Let's be his beautiful rose and how are we his beautiful rose by being in his presence by being in his wrapped around presence like like like, like just glowing with his presence glowing with his glory glowing with his word glowing with him inside of you have you ever seen if you looked at pure ware christen as you fell a kijk dit gloe sommer so uit jy kan sommer sien hierdie mens is een ware kind van God God leef in hulle. Nou, dit is ons moet wees. Kom ons wees Godse roos. Dat allemaal kan sien. Oh, daar is Godse roos. Godse roos. Godse roos. In 1 Chronicles 16 verse 27 it says, Splendor. In other words, beauty. And majesty are found in His presence. Splendor. Beauty and majesty are found in his presence. So the more we dwell in his presence, the more beautiful we'll become. The more beautiful we will be in his presence because he will be in us and people will see him through us. Eh? Worship the Lord in the splendor, in the beauty of his holy. Of His holiness, of holiness, with a pure, surrendering heart, so that we can say, God, here is ek, lig my op, help my, lay my, draw my, verander my. Amen. Amen. Geseende aand vir julle verder, ek sien julle weer volgende keer. Bye bye. Hello everyone. Oh, what a beautiful day to share with you our new design for this week. Now it's based on my word, He will carry us. And where it says in Songs of Song 2 verse 1, where it says, We are truly His rose, okay? And He overshadows us with His love. Isn't that beautiful? He carries us and he just overshadows us with his love. So this design can be seen on various items and it can be viewed on christiangear.org. See you there. Be blessed everyone.